Our first look at the nearly $3 billion terminal at the Orlando International Airport. Terminal C, as it's called, is almost complete and will handle as many as 12 million passengers a year. And that is significant because OIA is already the busiest airport in Florida. And just today, one travel trade group named OIA the seventh busiest in the world. News 6's Eric Von Anken was there for the sneak peek. The new CEO of the airport is promising that if you fly in and out of the airport through this terminal, Terminal C, when it's done, he says you're going to have an entirely different experience from the way you feel, he says, and how long you wait. Much of the new Terminal C is still off limits. We weave through the workers and materials here on the air side and the 15 new gates that JetBlue will largely operate. Even under construction, you can see this concourse is entirely different from the old terminal, from the top down, starting with the vast glass ceiling. Light pours in everywhere. Now, as you can see, international arrivals are going to come up through these different corridors and they get to see the sunlight when they come out here. So they really know they're in the sunshine state. And really the whole Orlando experience, they're going to get to visit and see right away. The airport's brand new CEO, former FDOT secretary Kevin Tebow, says actually this new terminal will be beyond the Orlando experience. Heavily relying on technology like a giant interactive LED wall to pass the time and automated screenings to save time. This is an example of one of the automated screening systems. So here's the gate right here and this is the last check before you board the plane. You take your boarding pass, scan it right here, the little doors would open and then you'd walk right onto the plane. The airport gave us this picture of the future TSA checkpoint. The baggage bins are always moving, connected by a continuous conveyor belt to avoid bin pileups. And every single piece of checked luggage will be shuttled in its own yellow bin, tagged with a tracker, so airlines could tell you exactly where your bag is at any moment. But leveraging technology to help streamline lease that experience when they're here in our terminals. Is it going to shorten the time? Can it? Well, a lot of this has to work with our partners, remember. Tebow says the airlines, the TSA, and the FAA will have to do their part, too, in this new space to keep planes and passengers moving. And right now, there are some 1,500 workers here every single day trying to get this done. They won't give an exact completion date, only saying by the summer, these first 15 gates should be open. At the new Terminal C at the airport, Eric Von Eichen getting results. News 6.